So the feels like condition is not any hotter than the actual air temperature. It's actually about a degree below right now uh, as we head towards this afternoon. We do expect those temperatures to finally break out of the 80s by about midnight tonight. OK, cloud cover starts to roll in shortly after about four or five o'clock in the morning, maybe even possibly some early morning fog in between about six and seven a.m. tomorrow morning. Temperatures likely won't even move out of the 70s in some locations, so the humidity is coming up. We've got the hazy sunshine out there, too, but all of the active weather still remains across portions of uh, Iowa into Illinois, uh, Indiana, northern sections of Kentucky and pushing into areas of uh, Cincinnati. So this is a uh, large ridge of high pressure that's still keeping us very stable still keeping us dry. It's Thursday, so we have today, we have Friday, and then we will see those changes coming in on Saturday. 91 in Alabaster, 90 Clanton, 90 in Gadsden, too. This weekend, a pattern shift. We will see a pretty steamy day on Saturday with high temperatures topping out in the low 90s with an isolated shower possible, but widely scattered storms are expected on Sunday. And so we're talking about that big pattern shift. You'll feel it on Saturday afternoon, certainly that humidity will be uh, palpable. I think you'll be able to notice the, the melting of the face. That uh, wet weather pattern will eventually impact your day on Sunday. Notice the 80% chance of showers and storms on Sunday. Looking ahead to the seven day forecast, Sunday plans will be impacted by the rain, especially in the afternoon. And then another system pushes in by the middle of the week. So we go.